give you the answer. Rather, I want to show you how to set it up and how to work through the problem there instead of just giving an answer. And you have that at the end of your textbook there. You need to know how to get the answer there. So and that's why I uh, value the direct interaction with my students and when they come to my office and asking questions there. Give me an opportunity to actually show the students step by step how to answer questions there. We may not be able to do that. Most likely we will not be able to do that during regular um, lectures there because we have so many different topics that we have to cover and they're only 40 hours throughout the semester there. Okay. So that's the homework assignments on Canvas. So you find all this information on Canvas and uh, Therefore, you need to make sure that you know how to access Canvas there. And also, in addition to that, if you click on exam number one, number two, number three, and final exam, you will find review and practice questions. You will find the answers to the review and practice questions. You will find information related to the exams and the final exams and tests and exams and uh, what's going to be provided, what you need to bring in, and that kind of thing. Okay. And uh, so make sure, now each exam, I have a review and practice question there. Now, the point of review and practice is that these are the things that I need you to be able to do. And when you see the actual questions there, in, uh, when you see the questions on the actual exam there, more than likely you will find similarities in there. Okay. So whatever I test you, I want to give you an opportunity to practice first. I don't want to ask difficult questions without giving you a fair warning, without asking you to do a series of uh, practice uh, before you take the exam. Yeah. So pay attention to these review and uh, practice questions. Yes. Most likely you need to work through these problems there. Most likely uh, when, you, when you get the answer there, make sure you, uh, when you end up with your answer, make sure you check and the keys are given. Okay, so make sure you check the answer there. If you don't know how to answer those, uh, how do you, how we end up with the correct answer there, that's what I'm here for and you need to talk to me. Now, for the second and third exam, I have roughly about the same number of questions in the practice and review versus the real exam. So you should really time yourself. If you look at the in-class exam there, it's 52 minutes or one hour, 25 questions. So on average, you have about 2.08 minutes per question when you take the in-class exam. On final exam, ACS, ACS exam, there are 70 questions, two hours. That average out to be 1.7 minutes per question. So uh, you really need to make sure you know how to answer the question. You also need to make sure that you can do it efficiently. Otherwise, mm, you will not have enough time. And I warn you ahead of time there, the second exam, the first exam is relatively easy because we're only covering the first two chapters there. The second exam covers three chapters, and the third exam covers the next three chapters there. So the material is gonna be more difficult, and the questions are gonna be more difficult. So the past experience is that everybody is doing fairly okay on the first exam. And they make, wow, chemistry is so easy. And then by the time it comes with the second exam, uh, the class average on the second exam, this is based on past many years of the statistics. The class average will drop at least 20 percentage point compared to the first exam. Okay. The main issue for the second exam and third exam there is that people don't have enough time to answer all the 25 questions in there. And uh, this past semester, I think the worst uh, scenario that I had there is that the student only finished one third of the exam, 25 questions, they only did eight within an hour. That's not the proficiency that I need, that's not the profic proficiency the American Chemical Society want. Okay, so you need to make sure that you can, uh, whenever you have that practice and review exam there, try to do it and try to time it and give yourself about two minutes per question. If you have 30 questions in there, give yourself about an hour. And if you have 25 questions, about 15 minutes there. So when you do the review and practice there, make sure you are doing it as if you are taking the exam. There. And that way, you know, the one thing I don't want you to, to, to do is that you have the uh, practice um, review and print it out, and um, you just have your TV on, your, your soda and your chip, and every once in a while you stand up and you walk. Don't do that, okay? Try to, Try to do it as if you are taking an exam there. And give yourself about two minutes per question. And that's the time. That's the kind of the uh, proficiency that you need.
to be able to, to acquire before you take the exam. Okay, so that's the Canvas site there. And also enter modules here. If you click on modules, you will see three sections in there. I think I hide, I hide the third one there. Now the first one is the learning objective. That's where you get this little booklet. Okay, every chapter there, chapter one through chapter 15. We're gonna cover <coughs> chapter one through 10 and then 11, 12, and, and 15. Total of 13 chapters will be covered. So each learning, each chapter's learning objective is published on Canvas. Okay. If you want to print them out, we can definitely do so. The PowerPoint for each of the lecture, uh, for each chapter's, uh, uh, for, uh, for the lecture of each chapter there is also published here. Okay. So if you want, you can print them out and um, take them to classroom, uh, to, to the lecture there, and then you can even write, write things on the printout uh, while you're taking notes there, and that's one option. Uh, another uh, thing that you, uh, another good part about the, uh, uh, the Canvas there is that I put these documents on Canvas there, so if you miss a class or if you miss a couple of slides when we're moving a little bit too fast, you always have a chance to review those slides. And after the reviewing, if you have questions there, you can always ask them questions. So that's the second section of the module there. And then this particular module <coughs> is the review question supplied by the publisher. Okay. Now, it's in a PowerPoint format. Uh, for every question, the next slide gives you the answer there. So if you have some extra time, when we finish a particular chapter there, when you finish reading the chapter, when you finish doing the homework there, and you can go through these review questions there. Now keep in mind, some of these questions may not be the topics that we cover in the class there. Therefore, you may not have an idea how to get those answers there. But the material is related, is uh, presented in the uh, textbook there. So you <coughs> should be able, when you finish reading the textbook there, uh, and you should be able to answer those questions there. However, if it's a topic that we never covered in class there, I will not test you on those topics. Okay. And I always, sometimes when I say this there, I, I fear that people say, well, this instructor is teaching to the test. And no, we're not. But I, don't, I just don't think it's fair for me to test you something that I never uh, talk about in class there. So I always want to mention that and, you know, sometimes, and the topics covered in the textbook may not be something that we covered in the lecture. And then for well, the exam purpose there, it's not going to be on the exam. Okay. And, Information is good, so you should, you should still know that information. And uh, when you're taking the course there, you're not just come here for a grade. You're come here, you, you come here to learn the subject of chemistry. That's very important. Okay, so that's the canvas, and of course you have access to your grades. And whenever I finish grading there, I will put that grade, whatever grade you earn, on quizzes, homework, and exams. I'll put them up on canvas there, so you have access to them 24/7. And uh, so this is the site that you want to make sure that you have access to, and especially those of you who are coming from another college there, and this is the first time you use Canvas there. You need to make sure that you, when you sign up, when, once you sign up for this course there, you will have access to this particular uh, uh, site. And uh, so make sure you know the structure, and know where to find that information there. Now if you have any questions, make sure you talk to me as soon as possible, especially in the summer. You cannot afford to sit on a question or a problem, uh, otherwise it will become overwhelming uh, before you know it. 